How to use the lasso tool in Illustrator. Well, firstly, where is the lasso tool? Now I'm using CC220. This should be similar sort of position in 219, 218, etc. So you've got it there. Normally it's under the direct selection tool, group selection, and lasso tool. However, you can also go to window and toolbars and go for advanced, and then you get all of them, and you'll see then you can be positioned there. But what does it do? Well, it selects points. So I'm just going to select something like a rectangle, create a very simple rectangle, create another one, maybe change a the color there, and change another the there. Get that out of the way. And I'm not selecting anything. You can select all of the paths if you want. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the lasso tool. What you do, just simply go over like that, and that will select that point. These points are not selected. Then I can go over here and select that. Now that one will be deselected and just that one will be selected. What you can also do, you can do all the way along and select two points or three points, up to you. So you can actually just go all the way around and select that. And then you get three points are selected. You can see those three points. Of course, you can select other points. Now, what you can do, hold down the shift. So you can see a little plus appears there. So that one's selected as well. They're still selected. And maybe go over to this one. That's so just go there. And you can then have that selected. Now these ones are not selected. You can still see they're unfilled there. Or you can go to that one and select that. So that one will be selected as well. Now what you can also do, you can hold down the alter option key and that will make it go minus. So that can deselect that one, so that will now be deselected. Now, it does seem to be an issue sometimes, it just goes and deselects that one and that one, which is not particularly great. But of course, what you can do, you can always go back to the lasso tool. I think personally, it's best to work with just adding than removing, because occasionally it does seem to remove more than you think it should remove. So you've got that one selected there and that one selected there. So there. And you can, of course, always just deselect them all again like that. So they're all not selected now. So go there, lasso tool, hold down the shift, select that one, select that one, and select that one. So I've got three points now. You can see those three are selected. Now what can you do with that? Well, you can go over here to the direct section tool, and then you can manipulate all of those points. You can create some very interesting designs simply by just doing that. And then obviously you can just go back and manipulate them just as normal. But the lasso tool is a really great way. And of course you can use other approaches to this, but you can, the lasso tool is quite useful for just, just selecting different areas like that. So you've got two points selected and then you of course go back here again and then manipulate just those two points. I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always adding new tutorials about Illustrator, about Photoshop, Affinity Photo, and of course, Affinity Designer, and many others. Please also leave some comments. Always appreciated. It's always nice to hear if I've been doing something right or something wrong, or maybe I didn't explain something well, and then I can redo the video. Also, a dislike or like. Always appreciated as well. So, thank you much.